Hey guys, today we're talking about the road stop brake lights or an additional brake lights what I have to install that people are gonna see me. So that roadster got hit twice on the rear uh, with two of the monster trucks here in Arizona and they are, the roadster has a very low profile and the really the guys don't see you. They are, usually the accident happens and I'm on the right lane, they are on the left lane, there are two lanes going in the same direction and they are changing lanes, they don't look to the front and then I get, uh, I get hit in the back. So that happened to me, it happened to my wife and the decision for that is I have to put a really bright brake light on it so and a light for that what they really see. So the first version of that was pretty good, it did its work but there is a better version what I came out with, with the, some of the friends from Inspired LED and we added an additional brake light which really fits nice to the spoiler. So you will see that soon. Rear wing or the spoiler and it's really a little bit too bulky so when you look at that it's just coming around round and it, the attachment was not so good also from the uh, tape what we are the two sided adhesive tape would be attached to that and the edges I didn't like them either so let's take a closer look so if you see that here it's way too big and too bulky so that's more for a kitchen lighting, uh, not for the world. So it, it did a job, but it can be done better. So I'm always looking for better solution on heels. So this goes off a little bit. So there should be one piece goes all alongside here and then will show a very flat profile. So the wiring is going from here to the brake light and then these and then you have to attach it here to the brake light. I have a separate movie for that in order how to do that. Uh, but from here you get to the wiring to the uh, top to the hood and then from here on the or the lid you can go across here or you can go alongside here and I will do it with some wire clips to go all across here and then attach it here. So the next piece of it is just cleaning the surface with uh, an alcohol pad so that it really sticks good. You do that here and all over where the clamps are going to become going to be. Next one is to take those wire clamps and attach them. Now we peel the adhesive tape off, this layer off, and then we attach that very flush to the rear spoiler or wing. That's what fits exactly. So now when it's attached, press over it one more time. Yeah, that's really nice and flat to it. Looks like it belongs to the car. A spoiler. So what you also would need is the grade A gasket sealant or silicon. For me it's black and can also be transparent on one side and on the other side as well. So in here the tools, scissors, wire stripper, a whole bunch of those wire clips, a 12 volt battery for testing, uh, cleaning, alcohol, here is the gasket sealant and one of the, con the connector, uh, Shuko, and the dual tape and the connectors 
for the brake light. Okay, actually, what I'm gonna do is when you see that ultra black, that's an ultra black sealant. I'm gonna attach it to the both ends here where the wire is coming out and here where it's open to have a nice sealant there so that there is no water coming into it. And it's ultra black, my car is black, so that will fit perfect. So the trick is here to use some dishwasher soap with water so that your hands or your fingers don't stick to it. So then you are just applying the product here and then you can easily smooth it out with a finger. Dip it in dishwasher, then press it on. It becomes very smooth. So let's try now and, and see how it works. What I like the most is that the white color matches the white color on the headlight and the backlights. So press the brake pedal and then let's see what's coming out. Excellent. I pressed and say.